So entitlement management, this is the way we refer to license management as well. It's like entitlement is nothing more than license. It's just another word we use for it. Again, this menu is accessed by administrators and co admins from the subscription services portal. In there, once you click on that, you have your subscription information. So in there, it's displayed your subscription type, which can be a variety of agreements and depending on what you have agreed with Bentley. Five examples are shown on the top of the screen there. You can have no subscription, select open access, practitioner licenses, an E365 agreement or cloud services subscription. It's important to say that users can exist only in one country and their entitlements are assigned according to that country, except of course for global entitlements. And it's also important to say that there is entitlement has a hierarchy, which is inherited from the contract and then down to the application level, then to a group level. And then the smallest hierarchy is the user level. And administrators can regulate that, those layers as well. So you can set up access to one application in general or to a country, for example, or to a group of users or individual users. Once you click on your subscription type, for example, if I were to click on the E265 rectangle highlighted in red there, it takes me to my application portfolio. There I'll see which licenses and which applications I have covered in my contract. And it provides me the details and access to the quantities I have covered in my contract, and alerts that are set up for my licenses. And it, again, it's either displayed by country or globally. One point that I'd like to, to mention in the expiration date that we can see there is that that expiration date, the expiry date there of the agreement includes a 60 day grace period, which is added on top of the actual contract expiration date. So you see your actual contract expiration date will be the date shown there minus 60 days. So part of the entitlement management configurations and, and resources available, a visualization of the users and groups set up by the administrator from here. It's important to say that from here, you would only see, you have a read only visualization of those users and groups. If you need to modify them or add people to, to a group or revoke access for someone or register new users, you wouldn't do that from the entitlement menu or the subscription information as we are seeing here. You would do that from the user management section that we've seen before. It's part of Bentley's philosophy to never restrict usage and access to any application or resources users need by default, but there are ways for administrators to modify that and, and keep track of that and restrict usage, so to speak. So when setting up the user and the groups and the entitlements, the administrators have the option to restrict access to certain applications. And there is another way to control that, which is setting up the alerts, uh, which again can be done from the entitlement and license management option. And here on this image, we are seeing the, how the menu looks like. Um, users can set up a customized alert message we will pop up whenever the users reach a threshold established by the user and admins are also alerted uh, live when, when there is over usage being reached one thing that's important to say is that alerts are set by application if you want to apply to all applications within your portfolio you need to use the license alerting all applications option which is available in the settings menu inside the entitlement license management uh, section. Another thing that's of course relevant to say is that alerts are not compatible with select server generation of products. So if you do want to set up alerts, your products need to be connect edition. If not, you won't be able to benefit from this resource. And again, just to emphasize that alerts don't restrict usage, but they do flag it up for users and for administrators. And also there is one of the reports available from the subscription services portal, which is alert history, 
which allows administrators to visualize when alerts were issued and if users just acknowledged and ignored them or if they respected the alerts and whatever the message was. License checkouts. The checkout menu and, and options allow the administrators to monitor the license checked out, when they were checked out, which product was checked out, by whom, and how long they have it running. This, again, it's another way to control your pool of licenses, what you've been paying for to access. Within the options there, administrators can also do a bulk license checkout. This is better for extended period of times with offline usage because to use connection client, of course, users need to be connected to the internet. If they are not, there is no point. And checkout is a solution for those examples or those cases when there won't be internet connection. And by default, the, the checkouts are last seven days. If needed more, then the administrators again can set up for the extended periods. In the checkout restrictions, administrators can enable or disable the ability for users to check out licenses via the Bentley license tool. By default, checkout is enabled for all the licenses, for all applications, but there is easy control over that. Can cover the checkout restrictions uh, from this menu to add further restrictions or enable restrictions if needed. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.